and then we're gonna have a pit boy. It's gonna be sick. Alright, what's up guys? I'm back with gear, and this time we're making that Altoids Pit Boy that we made last time. Now we're like actually making it a Pit Boy. That was a pretty cool prototype. We made a little PCB, we threw it into an Altoids tin, but now we're like really making it. Design like a 3D printed thing to actually go on the forearm. I'm gonna dive into a PCB that's gonna control the whole thing. And Gear made this insanely cool pneumatic launcher here. What is this whole thing? I have no idea what's going on here. It's basically like a semi-automatic paintball gun. Okay. Except for it dumps out way more pressure, like in volume. <laughs> <laughs> so we're dumping like 250 PSI in a heartbeat. If you want to see us shooting this thing off and like seeing how it works and how Gear made it, head over to his video, which is right here. All right, so now I'm going to dive into designing the actual physical frame of it and making a circuit board. Let's do it. This thing is awesome, but it's missing something. A brain. Let's make a circuit board. And and away what? we go! Alright, so this board is actually really similar to the one that I made for the flamethrower. It's got a little microcontroller on there that's pretty much an Arduino. And then it's got some inputs and outputs, some LEDs, some buttons. Uh, and then it also has this thing called a MOSFET. And a MOSFET's pretty much an electric switch, so it lets a little pin on the microcontroller switch something really big. So on the flamethrower, it switched the solenoid valve. On this one, it's actually also switching a solenoid valve for Gears pneumatics. So this takes me usually a couple hours to do. After I decide which components I'm going to use, I'll go in and place them all on the board exactly where I want them to be. It's a lot of fine-tuning, making sure that you get it exactly how you want it. I'm also constantly checking the data sheets for all the components that I'm using to make sure I have the pinouts right. So then I uploaded them to JLC PCB. I've used a couple other PCB manufacturers before, but I've heard a lot about them, so I figured I'd give them a try. Now I just need for the boards to come in, and then that's gonna mount right here. So you'll have like your little ch -ch 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 computer right here, ch -ch ticking away, checking all your sensors and all that stuff. Plus there'll be a little button to shoot off uh, Gear's pneumatic launcher. On the top, we have the plate that his pneumatic launcher is going to be mounted to. So we'll poke those holes and add those inserts whenever he's done with it and whenever we're ready to mount it. And there it is. Now, unfortunately, I am leaving Pittsburgh pretty soon. I'm moving to Boston. So I'm not going to be able to work with gear quite as much on these projects. After this one's done, we're going to continue working together. It's just going to be a little tougher because we'll be living 500 miles away. But you guys gave us some great ideas about stuff we can do, like a whole utility bell, and we're thinking about making like a little hand held gadget with an automatic lock picker and all kinds of other cool stuff. Also, I've been thinking about doing some live streams of when I actually work on this stuff. Let me know in the comments. Are you interested in watching live streams of building stuff? I know Punisher 
Fresh Props does it, I Like To Make Stuff does it. It seems like it's pretty fun, so let me know in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one.